Big news from Panish. Jeep leader Gabriel Medina has been knocked out of the male Rip Curl Pro Portugal after getting an interference against Kyle Ibelli. Your title contenders, Felipe Toledo, Jordi Smith, Colohandino, and Italo Ferreira, all won their respective heats, advancing into the quarterfinals. The 2019 world title race will officially go to the North Shore of Oahu. Finals day is set for the men and women in Paniche, and at this point, Carissa Moore can still clinch a world title in Portugal. But Lakey Peterson, Sally Fitzgibbons, and Caroline Marks all advance and are hot on her heels. This sets the stage for a crucial quarterfinals that could decide the future of the women's world title race. Keep it right here at WorldSurfLeague.com for conditions and the next call. Wind up for more oh, big man. layback slash. Winning their respective heats today, Tatiana Weston Webb and Jean Defay have added their names to the list of surfers provisionally qualifying through the WSL Championship Tour for selection at the upcoming Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Tati is the first Brazilian surfer to qualify for the Olympics, while Joanne, who's coming off a solid performance in Hossager and Lamour, will represent France. Well done, ladies, and good luck for the remainder of the season. It's crazy, I've seen the news for Jeremy like a couple days ago, and I was like, yeah, I want my news too. <laughs> Big congrats to California ripper John Mel for getting the win down at the Oaxaca Pro, a QS event in Puerto Escondido. WSL commentator Pete Mel, AKA John's dad, no doubt watching from Portugal, absolutely psyched for his son, getting a major QS event win. Twenty-four hours after a stunning interference call that knocked world number one Gabriel Medina out of the water in Paniche, we have some clarity on what transpired. After the Tours and Competition Office watched official footage from the tower, the initial ruling stands, quote, no resurf. Kaya was in the lineup first, further down the beach, and was rightfully awarded priority. We can clearly hear the beach announcers say priority is with blue. Kaya with the first priority in blue, chasing a 937 for the lead. Two minutes later, Gabriel received an interference for paddling into Kaya without priority. Little paddle battle for a position on this one. Take a look at this time-coded footage from the judges' replay booth that shows Kaio sitting with priority while Gabriel is still paddling. You see both surfers finish their waves and Kaio paddles back out to the lineup, sits on his board and gains priority, and we can see simultaneously that Gabriel Medina right here is still paddling out to the peak. What was shown on the broadcast during the post show was not him paddling into the lineup, but him paddling north towards Gabriel from his position in the lineup after Kayo had already established priority. At the business end of every season, tensions run high with glory on the line. This year's European leg has been no different. Next call for finals day is Wednesday morning local time, so keep it here for updates. Gabriel Medina out of the male Rip Curl Pro with a priority interference. The Jeep leader's jersey is up for grabs. We could see world number two Felipe Toledo in yellow again. All he needs is a win against Kanoa Igarashi in the quarterfinals to overtake Medina. But that's not all, as Jordi Smith and Italo Ferreira can also walk away in yellow. Each need a win in Portugal to take the lead. Whatever happens, pipeline is gonna be nuts. Lots of mana and lots of drama. Stay tuned for the next call here, Wednesday afternoon, local time in Paniche. The Gudowskis brothers hosted their eighth annual Stokorama charity contest in San Clemente over the weekend. Not just a day for the Groms, Van Steve Van Doren, skater Ryan Sheckler, and recent Red Bull Airborne winner Ian Crane also enjoyed the positive vibes. Eighth annual Stokorama. We're down here at T Street on a gorgeous banger of a day. Thanks to everyone who came out, all the crew, the families. We got a thousand people on the beach for raw thing. We couldn't be more stoked. Later this week, the brothers will head to Makaha for a special Hawaii edition of the Stokorama. Keep up the epic work, boys. Billabong Lab has teamed up with Metallica to produce a new line of boardies, tees, and accessories. The collection is based on the albums that led the band to becoming one of the biggest metal bands of all time. 
guitarist Kurt Hammett and bassist Robert Trujillo, the group's biggest surf frothers, have even been testing the boardies themselves. The first drop is today, so check it out on Billabong.com. Just to jump right into it, here's the deal. If Carissa Moore wins the Mayo Rip Curl Pro Portugal, she will win her fourth world title, and she will be tying the great Mark Richards on the list of all-time title winners. But it's no walk in the park. If Carissa comes in second and world number two, Lakey Peterson, comes in third, the title race moves to Maui. Into the quarters already, Carissa and Lakey find themselves on the same side of the draw and could potentially meet up in the semis in an epic clash with huge world title ramifications. With new swell on the way, we'll be looking towards a potential finals day on Friday. So stay tuned right here. Europe is so hot right now. I'm not just talking about oceanic surfing, I'm talking about freshwater ripping. The Wave Garden has been put through the paces lately. Australian pros Connor O'Leary and Mitch Cruz recently hitting the Basque Country to enjoy a session under the lights at the Cove. And in Bristol, England, the opening of The Wave is scheduled for November. But it seems like this swan just couldn't wait to get into some left-handers. Man, this looks fun. Bristol, we're ready to rip. Give us a call. Australian big wave surfers, Brent Red Dog Symes is one of the sport's greatest characters. Symes' new movie, Beyond the Breaking Point, showcases his fearless approach to Mavericks, Porto, and Jaws, and highlights his journey dealing with mental illness. My mental illness can sometimes cloud my mind with bad thoughts. So I use big wave surfing to focus on my goals and to um, clear my mind of all that kind of stuff. When I'm surfing big waves, I'm feeling good. Well, Connor Coffin has been doing more in Portugal than just eating and playing his guitar. He's also been getting absolutely pitted. Connor just recently dropped a new edit on his YouTube channel, showing us a behind the scenes look at the good times he's been having in Paniche. Yeah, Connor, get a tube for me, buddy. We're down to the business end of the Mio Rip Curl Pro, and after a number of lay days, waves are finally on the way. The official surfline forecast is calling for a new west-northwest swell to fill in Friday. Wave heights are expected to be in the three to four foot zone with larger sets possible in the afternoon. The trick in Panish is getting the wind right, and it's looking like we may see light offshores Friday morning. And there's more swell on tap for the weekend, so stay tuned here. And Gary's Dakota Walters was recently crowned the 2019 WSL Australia Oceana Regional Junior Champ. Son of a former Australian surfing champion, Walters will be competing in the upcoming WSL World Junior Championships in Taiwan later this fall. We cannot wait to see what he brings. I'm super stoked to be heading to Taiwan for the World Juniors. Just looking forward to having a go and go and have fun with all the boys. Smiling CT vet, the effervescent Coco Ho makes a guest appearance in brother Mason Ho's recent YouTube drop. Featuring a few fun, carefree sessions at Rocky Point, seriously, siblings are not supposed to get along this good. I will be completely honest, that warm water and blue skies has got me absolutely jonesing to get back to the North Shore. Ethan Ewing just absolutely scored an epic cyclone swell in Oz. Posting a few clips to his Insta feed, it's enough to give you barrel envy. Keeping his QS goals in focus, next, Ethan will be kicking off the North Shore season at the Vans Pro presented by HIC, which looks like it's going to be pumping.
Well, the wait continues in Portugal with yet another lay day at the Mayo Rib Curl Pro, but never fear, because Swell is on the way. When the comp resumes, Carissa Moore looks to clinch her fourth world title. And for the men, if Felipe Toledo wins one more heat, he'll grab the yellow jersey from Gabriel Medina. Fingers crossed for Swell to come up. The call will be 7.30 a.m. local time in Peniche tomorrow. Goes for the backside rotation, stomps the landing clean. The official trailer for season two of the WSL Studios series, Transform, dropped today. Hosted by 1977 world champ Sean Thompson, this multi-part documentary series showcases how surf can change lives and cultures all over the globe. Transformed Series 2 premieres October 25th on WorldSurfLeague.com or on the free WSL app. People like me don't go surfing. We don't really see black people in the water. When I started telling my story about how I'm a surfer from South Central, people listen. Well, brace your eyeballs, folks. Cam Richards and Noah Schweizer have entered the vlogosphere. That's right, Between Two Turns follows our two heroes as they score swell in the Outer Banks, then get in some mischief in South Carolina with Cam's dad, Kelly, who shaped him that 8-0 that got him one of the waves of the winner at Pipeline last year. There's a lot to see here, and it's a really fun vlog. So check out Between Two Turns on YouTube right now. A handful of Europe's best surfers had a pool party today at the Wave in Bristol, England. Wave Garden's machine operator dished up approximately 15 to 20 different types of waves for the pros to ride, and UK's Ruben Ash made his stoke clear. Put it this way, if I lived next door to this place, I would surf here every day, and maybe I would never go back in the ocean. The waves are that good. Well, what do you guys think? Are you gonna be making a trip to Bristol, England to rip at the Wave? Tell us in the comments below. Italo Ferrer winding up and going for the burial. He gets it, switches his stance, and he's got more room on the end section. And now, surf fans, it's official. Both the men's and women's title races go to Hawaii. After a handful of consecutive lay days at the Mayo Rip Curl Pro Portugal, the wait was well worth it. We now have a new world number one in Italo Ferreira. It's a historic women's title race as well, with Americans going one, two, and three on the Jeep leaderboard for the first time in four decades. Italo stole the day in Peniche with multiple massive errors. The Brazilian went ham and basically put together an entire video part in a single day, dropping a 10 on his first wave of the final. To the world in his third season as we have a full rotation. <laughs> Already thrown down by oh, Italo. My. The critical moment in the women's comp came in the semi-final duel between Lakey Peterson and world number one, Carissa Moore, where Lakey beat Carissa for the third time this year and dashed Moore's hopes for clinching the title in Portugal. Like Italo, Caroline Mark started the 2019 season with a win on the Gold Coast. And now she's back on top of the podium after unloading a litany of her signature backside power hacks, decimating the lip throughout the day. Three women can win the world title in Maui, Carissa, Lakey, and Caroline. And five men are still in contention at Pipe. Italo, Gabriel, Jordi, Philippe, and Kolohe. What a European leg, as fans right now are dying to see what's gonna happen next. Well, the circus is going to the North Shore, so get ready for it. 